Some pump got you down? Is it broken? Do you need to replace it? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Made by AP. Our sump pump recently died. Um, we will miss it. It was a very sad day. Um, it's done a good job over the last several years of keeping our basement dry and sump free. But like all good things, they must come to an end. And so did the life of our Flowtech one third horsepower sump pump. Came with the house and uh, we've been in the house for six years now. And as, as it goes, so does things. <laughs> so if your sump pump dies, um, don't rush to call the plumber. I mean, unless it's an emergency, unless you're like there's water flowing everywhere and you need um, immediate assistance. But if, if, you know, it's the middle of summer and it's relatively dry and you just, you realize that your sump pump isn't working and you give it a few tests and you check the, you know, the, the, uh, the floater thing and it's not triggering the uh, pump to, to activate, um, don't call a plumber to fix this. I mean, you're gonna spend hundreds of dollars on having someone do a job that literally takes 15 minutes, no tools usually, and um, only requires a new pump. So that's what we're doing, because I'm the handy guy around the house. So we're replacing our old sump pump, which, ooh, which died, with a rigid uh, half horsepower sump pump. Uh, we picked this one up because it was what was available at the Home Depot. Um, it is a half horsepower versus a third horsepower, so it's gonna be a little bit more powerful. Um, a sump pump is a pretty basic piece of equipment. You have your, uh, the base, which is stainless steel. Uh, I'm sorry, you have the body, which is stainless steel. You have the base, which is cast iron, so it has nice weight to it. You have a half inch, uh, one and a half inch distar discharge port where your pipe connects. And then this piece here is the floater. And so the idea behind the sump pump is as water rises in the basin, this goes up and then it clicks on and it starts pumping the water out until it lowers itself. Pretty straightforward. My current sump pump has a one and a quarter inch discharge outlet and this has a one and a half inch outlet. So what that means is the pipe that I have currently running is one and a quarter inch. So I need a reducer bushing to solve that problem. This is just a thing that you pick up at, the, at the, your home supply store and it allows you to screw in to a one and a half inch port and then screw in on this side a one and a quarter inch pipe. Makes life really easy. So let's get cracking and take out the old sump pump. Uh, I am going to put on some plastic gloves or um, nitrile gloves because the water in here is probably pretty funky and I don't want to get funky on my hand. Okay. You're gonna be mind blown at how easy it is to change out a sun pump, and you're gonna be thanking me for the hundreds of dollars that you saved by doing it yourself. Until someone screws it up and then blames me for costing them thousands of dollars for messing it up. All right, here we go. First thing. All right, first thing we're going to do is unplug the old one. Throw that aside. Then we're going to unscrew. And then this just lifts out. Okay. And then we just, oh, unscrew this. All right. And now we just put this aside. Now we grab our new one. Look how shiny 
and clean this is. Take our reducer. We're going to screw that in right here. Uh, you could put on some uh, plumber's tape if you wanted to, but I don't see why you need to. And then this. Okay, and then we're going to put it back in. Oh my God. Ugh. All right, now lastly, we're going to plug this in. And pretty much as soon as I plug this in, if everything went as planned, I'm going to plug this in. And as soon as I plug it in, it's going to start pumping because there's no like actual on and off switch. Oh, oh my God. It is like, <laughs> five inches away. <coughs> Holy balls. All right. Hold, please. Okay. So now I'm going to plug it in and pretty much as soon as I plug it in, it should start pumping because there's no like manual on or off switch that I need to press. And there is water in the basin that is above the floater line. So it should just start pumping and uh, hopefully water just doesn't erupt all over me. So uh, here we go. Holy crap, it worked. And fast, holy crap, that half horsepower is just like zoomed. Okay, the basin's empty. There's no water leaking anywhere. Okay, that literally took 10 minutes. So, oh, this is great. Okay, yeah. So, what did we learn? Uh, first that my basement is way too low for my giant height. Here we go. That's better. So if your sump pump dies and you just simply need to replace it, do it yourself. Swing on over to your home center. It cost me $200 for the sump pump. You can probably find them cheaper. I know Harbor Freight has them for under $100. I don't know if I would trust a you know, a $80 sump pump, but you know, whatever your mileage might vary. Um, I, I'm a firm believer of you get what you pay for and $200. Um, I know rigid is a home Depot brand, which, you know, it is what it is, but, um, they got great reviews. It has a five year warranty. Uh, it's decent construction. It's, it's an upgrade in terms of horsepower and it took me 10 minutes. Now, if you need to install a sump pump from scratch, this is not your solution. This is, that's a completely different video. I hope you learned something new today. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're up to over here. It's not just sump pumps. We're making robots and models and costumes and furniture and play sets and other kinds of wacky stuff because Apparently, I just can't sit still for more than three minutes at a time. So whatever. It is what it is. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Leave me a comment regardless. I love to hear what you're up to, what you thought of the video. If you've done this yourself, um, if you have any issues with doing it, uh, please shoot me a line. Maybe I can help you through it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. And by we, I mean me. I will see you next time. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to uh, put these over my head like Howie Mandel.
and blow them up and look like a, a rooster. What? Do what you did because I don't think I recorded it before. Oh. Okay, sit down. <laughs> Tony, that's gross. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah. <laughs>